The nation is focused today on the 50th anniversary of the Kennedy assassination. He was killed in Dallas. But one of the most arresting images of his death is available for auction here in Cincinnati. A simple black and white image from an amateur's camera that captured a moment of great national pain. A picture captures light from its subject, captures a moment in time, captures life and death. In this instance, the death of President John F. Kennedy. And today, most people would acknowledge that this is the photograph that shows that first shot that hit Kennedy. At Cowan's Auctions, workers recently unpacked items for auction, including faded right. photographs from Dallas, a bystander took that terrible November day 50 years ago. A photo of the photographer herself. A 31 year old housewife named Marianne Mormon who along with her buddy decided to drive down to uh, downtown Dallas on November 22, 1963 uh, because they heard the president was coming to town and they particularly wanted to see what Jackie was wearing. A second photo of a Dallas motorcycle officer who was a childhood friend and the photo of that moment. No one would argue that this is not one of the most important news photographs of the, of the century. After the assassination, Mary Ann Mormon gave her Polaroid prints to the Secret Service and the FBI during their investigations, then put them away in a safe deposit box. Powerful images from a time of powerful images. Former Congressman Tom Lucan speaks for the many Americans into whose memories that day is seared. The riderless horse, those babies, the Kennedy babies, the whole thing was... I could, I could relive it, and, I, and most people can, I think, even today. And yet, even today, despite their ability to evoke enduring memories, these pictures still await a new home. Perhaps like the vivid Zapruder film of the assassination, they are too raw, too painful, too real. But, says Wes Cowan, such is the stuff of history. We can't edit history. This is part of the history of the United States, and it is a, a part of our past that needs to be preserved. Cowan Auctions is working on a post-auction sale of those pictures. Now, not only did Marianne Cromwell capture history, history captured her. Now, this is a frame of the famous Zapruder film of the assassination, which shows Marianne Cromwell on the grassy knoll shooting her photo instantaneously at the same time. And Wes Cowan says she helped to change history as well. The citizen journalist who caught the moment of assassination and scooped the national media. Isn't that amazing? It, it is. is. It's, it's just a moment in time frozen right there. It is. And being caught in the Zapruder film, I think, is just really ironic. Yeah, it really is. Yeah.